Hi everyone. Today we're going to work on doing a crackle finish using a product by DecoArt called Americana Weathered Wood. And it's an acrylic medium that you apply in between the layers of paint and it causes this nice crackle effect. And there's a couple steps to doing this. We're going to use this snowman as our example. I made a little set of snowman and I thought they'd look nice with a little more interesting pattern than just painted plain. So I used the crackle finish on them and I was looking on the internet to see the ways that you use the products and there really isn't a lot of information. So I kind of figured out myself from what information was out there and I thought I'd do a video here to help you learn how to do it too. So we're going to start off with wood, of course. I use Baltic Birch Ply, 8th inch. And I have a sample piece here just to show you the basic technique. And I did one side in a russet color and the other is navy blue. This will be the bottom layer that will show through on the crackles. And the first thing you do is you base coat the wood. I put two coats on because you need to seal the wood so that the, the weathered wood medium doesn't absorb into the wood because if it does that then it's not going to do what it needs to do and you won't get any crackling effect. And in my experimenting I found out that after you base coat I was better off lightly sanding the surface. And I'm going to sand the bottom half of this piece just to show you the difference so you can see. Now a lot of people when they paint they seal their wood first and you probably you might not have to sand if you do that but I don't do that. I usually like to go on raw wood. You could feel the difference. The grain was raised from the water-based paint on the base coat and all we're doing is knocking it down and it looks a little hazy but that's going to be okay because it's going to be underneath the crackle medium. So it's just for the base coat on the, on the cracks. So I'm going to take a bit of the medium I don't think you can see it on the palette. And I'm going to wet my brush and blot it so my brush is damp. I'm going to put a generous amount in my brush and start pulling it across in the way you want your crackles to go. You don't want to paint all different directions because that's how your crackles will be. And you want to work rather quickly and apply a good generous amount of this. You don't want to go too thick, but you want it really to cover where it's good and shiny, and you, you don't want to keep working it. You want to work quickly to where it's just shiny. You could probably see that. And then you need to let this dry. Now, for the video's sake, I'm going to use a heat gun. This will take just a minute. And you can see as I'm drying it, it won't be shiny anymore. It'll take on like a satiny finish. You can see the streaks drying out. We're 
almost there. So it's quite dry, it's a little tacky, which is fine. I had read one place that if you let it dry too, too long it won't work, but I haven't tried that yet. So I'll leave our board there. And I'm going to use buttermilk for the top coat, because you'll really be able to see the effect of it. Put a bit on the palette. Take your rinsed brush and blot it. Keep it damp though. And now you really want to kind of load up the brush good on this. I'm what you call a light painter. I usually do very thin coats of paint, but I found out on this process if I go too light that the bottom color shows through too much. It didn't come out creamy like I wanted it to be. And I really needed to add more paint to it and I found out that if you try to keep going over and over you'll see it'll pull the crackle off and it'll make a mess of it because it instantly bonds to the paint and as soon as it starts to dry you'll see it crack so here we go we're gonna start applying it now I'm putting nice thick coats on. I'm trying not to go over the area I just went over. And now remember the top is not sanded and the bottom is. And you could see, I'll show you on a corner, if you keep working at it, you could see it start to crackle. I hope. But as you pull it, so you start pulling chunks off if you work it too long. I don't know if you can see that in the video. But I'm also going to use a hair dryer just to show you the effect. the rust showing through and the blue showing through and you could see here where I worked over it a little bit too long it started to pull up a chunk and it it didn't crack very much there like once it starts working with it you have to leave it you have to walk away and leave it alone and it'll do a good job for you so we're gonna go on to our snowman and the first thing I did was transfer just the scarf pattern and I base coated the snowman in blue I did two coats to make sure they covered and I'm going to lightly sand I'm not sanding to get the paint off I'm just sanding to knock down the grain and get it smooth again And the reason I don't paint the scarf first is because some of this kind of gets on the scarf and it's easier to go over once the crackling process is done. And I'll take a damp paper towel, not damp, but could be moist, but just something to wipe away that's not going to leave anything on there. And then like, like our board, i got to clean out my brush. I'm going to put a little bit more of the medium on my palette, load my brush, put a nice coat on there, you can see how shiny it is. Okay. Let's 
kind of smooth. Now you could either leave that dry or again, I'm going to grab the dryer. Okay, once again, it's dry to the touch. It's a little tacky there. We'll see what that does. I think there were some tacky spots on the other one, but you want to make sure yours is all dry. Rinse your brush and load it up good again. Make sure there's enough paint in there and no cat hair. And I'm going to do the small section first just to get there was a little bit of water on the brush. You don't want your brush wet. You just want enough water on it so the paint moves. So here we go. We're going to Now see there's that spot, but if I touch it, it's going to mess it up. We don't want to do that. So I'm just going to move on. And I'm almost just laying the paint on in nice smooth motions, but very quickly. You don't want to worry about your edges either. If you have a little spot like that, you can tap in a little, but it's going to look weathered anyway. And you can kind of watch it dry and crack. Give it a little shot of heat. Finish it up. we're all crackled and we're done and you can see this all dried very nicely so it's all ready to put the details on we'll just use dark tracing paper trace on the details and continue painting like we did with any other piece and when I do the crackle stuff I don't do the edges in crackle because needless to say it's a lot harder to get around the edges when you're working that quickly I just do them in a whatever tone the, is on top and it looks nice and I hope you enjoyed the video on this product and I hope you give it a try it's not as hard as you would think it is and it's a lot of fun thanks for watching come to the site the ornaments are on sale at the site and you'll be able to get them along with a lot of other videos and articles and things like that thanks